about Lori loves her a nice glass of wine. So when we asked her <laughs> to feature some local tasting room, she jumped at the opportunity. <laughs> she joins us live from the Jeremy Wine Company in I'm Lodi. Sorry. Oh, look around. <laughs> you have no idea what's happening. Right I'm now. sorry. Did Lisa just say Lori really likes a glass of wine? <laughs> I, I just read the I words heard? on the prompter. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I'm at Jeremy Wine Company. I feel like Cody Wine Company. We already have the big Cody head. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever thought about it, Code? I feel like it would be, you know, something. I, I just don't want well, people Well, the real to Jeremy's lie. here, so let's meet him. <laughs> Behind the bar, Jeremy, great to meet you. Great yeah. to be here. Uh, you've been doing this wine thing for a long time in Lodi. Yeah, I have been in the wine business since 94, and we've had our wine tasting room down here since uh, 2010, so quite a while but this is a passion this is my life's passion so I'm excited to be in the business and I love sharing our products okay so I think I might be a little late to the party but I'm just learning about these refillable jugs and cantinas and all these things here my husband is a craft beer and the growler is so popular exactly. will you do that with wine it, it's exactly the same thing it gives us very fast turns on the wine we're able to discover a blend or build a blend in the cellar bring it out and we can have it out in just a couple months back to the tasting room it gives the customers flexibility to refill something it's environmentally friendly but it's just awesome it's fun to interact with so yeah, that's you probably have a the best. lot of different varieties here explain that because for your tastings you have so many to choose from so we change our list about every month I make about 28 different wines a year so we don't own any vineyards ourselves and that allows me to kind of pick and choose so I go to vineyard to vineyard to vineyard within the Lodi region we'll take a small lot of grapes out of there and if we love what we've gotten we might bring it into our regular loop but we might just pick it one time go through do it in an obscure variety and then you know, share it with our friends and move back into another thing. All right, the wine is good, but you know what I also noticed right when I walked in here? The labels are really cool, and you have a history with labels right. in this industry. So as a wine label designer, for about 10 years, we had a studio here designing just wine labels, and so I had a lot of experience working in the packaging. And there's something about glass and wine labels to me, the textures of the paper, um, the, the weight of the, the bottle, the sheen of foils, all those things, I just, I love it. It gets me excited. Oh, when, okay, okay. When which I, one do you want to pour? I, I'm pouring some jug wine, because today's jug wine. <laughs> We're pouring jug wine. Oh, wine. Okay. 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 Or jug. Okay. So I'm going to go with jug. <laughs> <laughs> we go big or we go home. Uh, okay. So this is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon and Petit Verdot, which is an interesting um, French variety. And it's usually just a blender, but we blended the two together. It's so gorgeous. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to walk around with it. It doesn't really go with my oatmeal this morning, but I feel fancy <laughs> walking around with it. Um, they are very dog friendly here. So notice the milk bones. And we got to come show you the patio. It looks like it just started raining, um, but it's a great space. And you know, our weather is about to get better around here. Uh, so maybe not for today, but check out this patio space. It's beautiful. You can uh, stop by one of the local restaurants. I know you have a great spot uh, just down the way that you like to tell we, people we, to swing got by. A, a Cheese Central is fantastic downtown. They'll take you through a cheese flight. You can pick up little nubs of different styles of cheeses. They'll they'll totally give you a range. And then you can bring them down here, have some with a little bit of wine sit on our patio. And when it's not pouring rain. <laughs> when it's not pouring rain, but I had to show it off because it really is a nice patio and you can bring lunch, hang out, have some wine, and come hang out with the real Jeremy. Not the cardboard cutout Jeremy, but the real Jeremy. <laughs> um, and the, the story is actually kind of funny how you ended up naming the winery that. Yeah, so when we were first getting started, this is our third business. We had a, a little etching company before our design studio, and no matter what the business was, everybody would just say, go see Jeremy, go see Jeremy. <laughs> so my wife yeah. and I were talking about what do we name our winery, and we came up with like Starling or some other goofy name. And we're like, why? They're just going to say go see Jeremy anyway. So let's just name it Jeremy. <laughs> just Jeremy. Come visit Jeremy. He's easy to find right here in downtown Lodi. It's been so fun this morning visiting the vacation rentals, seeing how close they are to these um, awesome tasting rooms and great places to eat too. Visit Lodi.com for all the places we've been this morning. That was a good gig. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's very, very much so. Nice, nicely done. <laughs> nicely done.